Lightweight Tournament quarterfinal, Martin Held versus Michael Chandler. Quarterfinal round of the Lightweight Tournament brought to you by the Lincoln Lawyer. Sorry, Matthew McConaughey in theaters everywhere March 18. And now inside the cage set for three five minute rounds, introducing first out of the red corner at five foot nine, weighing in at 156 pounds even, with a professional record of 10 wins against a single defeat, hailing from Tesha Poland, introducing Marcin Held. And across the cage is adversary fighting out of the blue corner at five foot eight, weighing in at 155 and one quarter pounds, undefeated as a professional at five and all, oh, hailing from Las Vegas, Nevada, Michael Chandler. And when the bell rings, the referee in charge of the action, Gary Copeland. The rules in the quarterfinal round of Bellator Fighting Championships. All fights consist of three five-minute rounds. Elbows to the head are not allowed, neither standing nor on the ground, and there is no kicking or kneeing the right, head of a red? grounded opponent. You ready, Blue? Let's fight! Round number one. Martin held in the white trunks, Michael Chandler in the blue trunks. Gary Copeland is the referee. Our Bellator clock is presented by PSP. Step your game up, PSP now, just 129. And Chandler coming in very aggressively, not surprisingly going for the takedown. This are Hell, now rolling for a leg lock. Let go this this our opening Let go lightweight fence. tournament quarterfinal. Two young fighters held, as we mentioned, this 19 fence, years old Chandler, five years older at 24. Held, held trying to straighten out that leg, going hard for the knee bar. He might have it. Going for the knee bar. Chandler said the only way he could conceivably lose is by a leg lock. Uh, that is a straight lock. He is putting everything behind it, but Chandler just is not tapping out. Huge crank on that straight. Now going for the toe hold, trying to transition. Knee bar to the toe hold, huge crank there. Chandler trying to punch his way out. Uh, hard to get the leg out once it's in that position, you have to put a lot of weight on it. Sure and that's what he's trying to do, Watch put weight on that leg, trying to put that foot on the ground. Held just going very hard for this knee bar. Held still holding with the ankle. Man, furious start to this fight. Problem is if Chandler gets out, he's on top. Chandler said, Jimmy, that's what he was working on specifically for this fight, leg lock defense. Well, he defended that leg lock. He did. Now looking to ground and pound. Dive in right hand, and Marcin Held closes guard. Now opens guard, trying to walk it up. Now Held's going to have to be very active from the bottom here. Chandler has great ground and pound. Held has to go for a lot of submissions, I think, to keep Chandler you know, uh, off balance. Warning to Michael Chandler from referee Gary Copeland about elbows on the ground. Good right hands by Chandler, though. Chandler with a big right hand. Diving right back in on his man. Jimmy, this is the position, as you know, that top-level wrestlers are so good at. And now going to, he's in good triangle position here, but he needs to switch his hips over to the other side. Nice left hand, sneaky by Chandler. So one thing about those top-level wrestlers, they have great submission defense. They are very hard to tap. Even if they don't know a lot of jujitsu, they're very difficult to catch. Great awareness. Look how active Marcin Held is on the bottom. Continuing to walk up his guard, using those legs. I pers I personally, I think that's a good strategy. Go for a lot of submissions. Keep him worried about his defense, not his offense. You see right here, Chandler pulling out, getting out of these submissions, but not able to throw a lot of effective strikes. Chandler trying to step through that open guard of Held can't do so. Held continues to hold open guard. Yeah, really active with those legs, keeping his hips very high. Going now for the arm bar now, Jimmy. Good position here, but Chandler's so strong. He knows where to put pressure. Good right hand. Best punch of the fight, that clipping right hand from the top position by Chandler. Held closes guard. How tight was that knee bar that Held had on Chandler? Yeah, that is amazing. We'll see how Chandler walks if and when he stands back up. He's that's trying to finish on the ground. That's one of those things you get out and it hurts, and you know, maybe you hear a couple pops and you get up and you realize, man, that, that leg is in bad shape. He looked all right when he stood up, but we'll have to see how it goes when the fight progresses. Chandler just popping up, throwing that right hand. I see a lot of blood on Marcin Held. Looks like Chandler might be bleeding somewhere, maybe out of the nose. Held now holding half guard. Holding his arm, looking, might be looking for an arm triangle, but needs to step out of that half guard position to get it. 
That's a great position for a wrestler, and he has it. Held, grabbing his leg and straightening it to get space. But now he's done. There's the stoppage and the win for Michael Chandler. I didn't see a tap and maybe a technical submission, but Chandler is through to the semifinal. Held is still on the ground. I think he passed out. That's a great job by the referee. Held, you see, was grabbing his leg, straightening. That's how you get space in that position, but Michael Chandler just too strong. Very tough fight. Held a brown belt in Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, but the strength and the power of Michael Chandler finishing that arm triangle. And an arm triangle is one of those submissions that is great for wrestlers once you get that arm across, because it's all about positioning and power, and Michael Chandler has both of those. Great fight by both guys. You see here the submission attempt early on in the fight. Knee bar to toe hold transition. You see here, kicking out, straightening that leg, really putting his hips into that knee bar. Supposed to pull the toes right into the neck, and that's exactly what he did. His arm all the way up on the heel. That is beautiful positioning. And here's the end of the fight. Michael Chandler has the arm triangle position, then gets out of half guard, held here, trying to get space between his left arm and his neck, but cannot get it. You see right here, he passes out. Great stoppage by the referee. Held was out cold, and that is a technical submission win for Michael Chandler. Mission win for Michael Chandler. Ladies and gentlemen, as a result of the arm triangle choke, the fighter did not tap. Therefore, the winner officially by technical submission at 356 of round number one. Now in the semifinal round of the lightweight tournament, Michael Chandler. He was an NCAA Division I Wrestling All-American for the Missouri Tigers. Now he is a semifinalist in Bellator's Season 4 Lightweight Tournament. Here's Jimmy Smith. I'm here with your winner, Michael Chandler. Michael, you told us in the interview you knew this would be a tough fight. That's exactly what you got. Polish prodigy, phenom, freak of nature, call him what you want. He's, he's the real deal. I feel blessed to be able to fight him, and he's going to be a champ someday. Now, that leg lock, it was straight. That knee bar was done. How are you feeling?